Hey, what's going on guys? PvP and Chili here, and I'm bringing you a Fallout 76 video I think we all want to see. How to get power armor early on in the game. So, I'm going to show you guys how to get power armor within your first 10 minutes of the game. You can get it at any level, but you know, the lower the level, the better, duh. So, I'm going to say you can get it at level 1. Although, I got it at level 2 because, you know, you automatically level up the moment you leave the vault. But, technically, you get it at level 1. So, uh, to make this trip quick and short, uh, you go there, basically. You go straight east of Vault 76. Maybe not to that exact area, but if you just keep watching, you'll see. Uh, because... I think I was off by a little bit, but you gotta get to the Morgantown train yard, I believe that's the name of the area. And uh, if you do a lot of walking east, you get there. So, yeah, let's uh, cut to the chase. So, after the longest walk in history and wait uh, and anticipation, you get there. And, uh,. I'm not exactly sure on the spawn rates. Uh, I went here twice and I got two sets of power armor. So we're, we're going to go with probably a 60-70% chance. But there it is. It doesn't have a fusion core in this one, sadly. But you can still walk around with it. You can still punch stuff. And it can still protect you a lot better. And that is the distance. It's not a lot. Now this next location is really close to the first here in a moment I'll show you on the map where it's at now be careful when entering this building because there are booby traps spiked floors and they hurt now here in this building there is a power armor station yeah I, I couldn't avoid stepping on that it hurt but in this building if you look to the left right there there's a power armor station. Sadly, power armor didn't have a power core. Uh, so annoying. But, again, power armor. And I mean, you could sell it for a ton of caps, or you could upgrade it. But, uh, what I'd do with uh, power armor with no fusion core, I'd scrap it or sell it for caps. Now, the third location is going to be the harder part of all two of these or the other two locations this is at the mothman museum directly west of the uh vault 76 directly west or yes <laughs> i'm sorry directly west of vault 76 after you kill off a bunch of the guys here and there are a ton of them uh, you will go around this corner. You will see that blue car. That blue car is important. Because you're going to want to jump on that blue car. Now, once my, once I get to it, you jump on the blue car. Then you're going to want to jump on the brown car directly to the right of it. And here in a moment, I will show you. Now, here, what you're going to want to do is jump on the blue car. Then jump on the brown car, face the building, jump onto that, and not do what I just did right there. You're going to want to repeat that process, but not fall, okay? Now, if you can do that, it's really simple, really easy, and it'll take you to the power armor like it's nothing. Now, see, I got it on my second try. It's not hard, okay? Even the biggest noob at parkour, you can make it. Now, this brown sta staircase here, very important. You're going to want to go up this and go across this little makeshift path on top of the bridge. It's really easy and really just easy. <laughs> just follow this and then go to this little separate roof over here and there's the power armor. Now this one had a fusion core in it. Now all of them have a chance to have a fusion core in it. This one was the one that had the fusion core in it. And so there you guys go. Go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.